let's be honest, everyone. Data engineers are far more important than data scientists. Is what I would like to say, but truth be told, data in general is a team sport. For at least the last decade, data science has really had its time in the limelight. You know, it was about a decade ago when Harvard's article about the sexiest job in the 21st century is a data scientist came out. And since then, we've seen an explosion in things like undergraduate degrees for data scientists, as well as, you know, master's degrees and other boot camps and things similar to this. But throughout this whole time, data engineers have been quietly focusing and doing their own work without any real fanfare or focus on them whatsoever. Now, over the last few months, and perhaps even the last year or so, I've definitely seen an increase in the number of articles relating to data engineering and building, you know, automated pipelines, ETLs, and so forth. With this, I've also had more conversations with other data engineers, as well as data engineering consultants and data science consultants, just in terms of the role that data engineers are going to play in the next few years, in terms of, you know, is data engineering going to become as popular of a term or as a job title for people to really go for out of college as data science has been over the last decade. And again, there are people on all sides of this whole discussion, but I'm still kind of in the camp of thinking that honestly, as much as I really enjoy data engineering work, I really don't see data engineering becoming as popular as data science. This is besides the fact that, you know, regardless of what people say, I still only see very few groups or even like references to data engineering in things like hashtags on LinkedIn or like groups on Facebook compared to like the data science hashtags on LinkedIn or the data science groups on Facebook. It's just that at the end of the day, when you compare the work that data scientists do versus the work that data engineers do, data science work still just has that more tangible quality. It has that quality in terms of, it has something that you can actually show to your bosses at the end of the day. Whereas data engineering tends to be behind the scenes. A lot of the work is just pipelines that maybe no one sees. Maybe you create tables that people use, but at the end of the day, people use those tables to develop the analytics or insights that they then present to your boss. In fact, the data scientists who might use your table might not even realize you're the one who created it in the first place. It's kind of just expected to be there, or maybe there is some partnership with you developing it with them. But at the end of the day, you aren't the one that's probably going to demonstrate the output. It will likely be the data scientists. I liken this to American football where everyone knows the quarterback and not necessarily even just the quarterback of their team, but arguably even the quarterbacks of other teams, right? Like I know who Tom Brady is. I know who Peyton Manning is and I know who Russell Wilson is, but I honestly have no idea who is on the offensive line of any of these teams. Now, some of this is because I don't care too much about things like sports and football in general, but also in terms of looking who's kind of leading the team to victory, it's often that people look towards the quarterback as being the one that's really leading and guiding the team until the kicker ends up missing that one kick that ends up losing the game by one point. And for some reason, the weight of the world falls on the kicker, but that's a whole other problem altogether. And in this analogy, I have no idea who the actual kicker should be. So. My point being here is that the offensive line to me is almost like data engineers where we do our work kind of quietly. We might not be known as well in terms of the fact that people might not know who we are. They might not know we're doing the work that we're doing. But at the end of the day, we play a very important role in ensuring that the data scientists can actually have data that is accurate, reliable, and shows up at whatever cadence is required for them to do their analysis. And this is why a lot of data professionals often reference the fact that you first need to look for a data engineer before even thinking about doing any form of data science work, just because at the end of the day, all of your work starts with centralizing all of your data in one, either data lake, data warehouse, data lake house, whatever form your company is choosing, in order to create some sort of layer of core data that everyone in the company can use and rely upon. Whether they're an analyst, a data scientist, a product manager, it doesn't really matter. Data engineers play this role where we are the gatekeepers between you know, application data and some sort of accessible data layer in BigQuery, Snowflake, Redshift, or you know, pick your poison in terms of data warehousing. So data engineers might not get as noticed as data scientists, but data engineers really are step zero to your data strategy. Data engineering will always come first because we always need some sort of way of getting data from point A to point B. Even with a lot of the low code, no code solutions that are kind of coming to market, it's really still important that you have some data experts that can really create a core layer of data just because this allows your analytical teams like your analysts and data scientists to focus more on asking questions rather than spending too much time on processing data. If they think that they're doing too much pre-processing now, imagine if they actually had to create all of their actual data sources just as much as 
cleaning, and pre-processing their data. They'd never really get to the work that they need to do, which is supposed to focus more on analytics, answering questions, doing some sort of model development, research, all things that take a long time. And again, if they're spending all of their time pre-processing, managing, controlling data from where it goes to who can actually access it to all of these little steps along the way, they're never really going to get to their actual job. And they're most likely going to be unhappy with that just because at the end of the day, they want to do data science work and not data engineering work. So of course, data engineers are not really more important than data scientists, but their work does come first. You do need data engineers in order to make sure that you have the right data for your data scientists to actually work with. And if you're looking to become a data engineer or you like data science or the general data life cycle, consider liking and subscribing to this channel. I put out two or three videos a week, all focused on things like data engineering, data science, kind of just tech in general, based on my experiences working at startups, consulting, big tech, and just having a good foundation overall in technology and big data. If there are specific topics or questions you would like answered, consider leaving a comment on this video. I do check most of my comments and I try to answer as many as I can. And I am trying to create content around not just the stuff that I think makes sense, but also the stuff that people ask for. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.